Here at Sage Running, we believe that smart training is both a science and an art. Make good art. <laughs> Hi there, Sage Candidate VO2 Max Productions here with another training talk. So I'm here in South Boulder, running on the beautiful trails of South Boulder here. And uh, today I wanted to talk about a fartlek type of workout. And fartlek, it's kind of a funny word, but it basically means speed play in Swedish. And that's kind of the, the literal translation. And that's a good translation because it basically is having fun with your running, doing a unstructured type of interval workout. All right, so I'm actually gonna be lame up here and uh, take a breather so I'm not uh, huffing and puffing too much, but uh, it's uphill, that's my excuse, uphill and altitude. But yeah, basically, fartlek is a real great way to have unstructured interval training. And it's been around for a while. Uh, you see guys back in the day, decades and decades ago, you'd go out in the woods maybe, or running around the woods or your neighborhood, and you just decide randomly to sprint for maybe to the next tree post or sorry, lamp post or the next tree or the next rock. Uh, maybe it's 20 seconds away, maybe it takes you 20 seconds. And then maybe you decide to jog, catch your breath for uh, 30 seconds after that and uh, go into another sprint. And maybe it's, maybe it's 40 seconds away. Maybe you're not even timing it. Maybe you're just using landmarks along the trail or along your road route, the next mailbox, next intersection uh, to run fast. And it's not at any set pace. You're not necessarily checking your GPS obsessively looking at what pace you're running. You could you do it more by feel, by intuition. And that's kind of the art behind good training and reading your body's signals. Maybe you're not even wearing a heart rate monitor. Maybe you are. Uh, so a lot of our Sage Running, sagerunning.com training plans uh, for half marathon, marathon, and ultras, you'll see we do have some fart licks. And I touched on this in my last training talk video, which I'll link to at the end of this video as well as the Lactate Threshold Tempo Run video. I'll link to both of those videos at the end for more training talks. Um, is that you could do fartleks on days that maybe they weren't really planned. Maybe it's uh, you're doing a 20 mile long run or 18 mile long run in the second half you have a fartlek. And uh, again, it could be really instructed. Maybe you're out on an easy day, you feel good, so you start doing some sprinting the uphills and jogging downhills or vice versa. Maybe you're running fast on downhills and maybe it's for 30 seconds, maybe it's for five minutes. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but you're getting in a good heart rate spike basically and sorry if the wind's starting to catch up here it's getting a little windy up here um so hopefully the audio is good but basically an example of fartlek workout uh adding more structure just going by time you could do a workout of six times three minute hard surges maybe doing three minutes at 10k pace or 10k effort followed by two minutes the two minute recovery jog right after that so six times the quantity three minutes fast two minutes easy and so what you have in that workout is that you're running a total of 18 minutes at a maybe 5k or 10k race pace or over 85%, 90% of your maximum heart rate. So you got 18 minutes of, of quality work, but you're following that with two minutes of recovery. So you got 12 minutes in there where you're still, your heart rate's elevated even though you're jogging. And the total workout, of course, would be uh, 30 minutes, six times uh, five. So you're getting in 30 minutes of an elevated heart rate. And what you look on a on Strava, or if you upload your, your data somewhere with the heart rate spikes and the velocity spikes, is that you get these you know peaks where you're running the three minutes hard and your heart rate's climbing and maybe it's going over 90 percent but then on the recovery it drops back down but then it goes up again and so you get these spikes same thing with your leg turnover you're developing this really nice speed this nice uh, muscle tension stimulating fast twitch muscle fibers developing your running economy at 10k race pace making you more efficient uh you know stride rate leg turnover things like that uh reducing ground contact time and so it's a great overall workout because you got 30 minutes in where maybe your average heart rate was elevated over 75% maximum. Maybe your average heart rate was 78% for the whole thing, but it had peaks of over 90%. So really unstructured type of interval training and a good way to get in a good lactate threshold stimulus, the clearing of lactate, which I'll also link to that tempo run lactate threshold video at the end of this. Um, it's a good way to, to get into that. And I call it kind of like a pre VO2 max type of workout because it's not killer hard. You could kind of adjust on the fly how hard 
you want to go for those three minutes. It doesn't necessarily have to be right on 10K pace or right on 5K pace. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a certain a certain velocity. Because sometimes some days you don't feel as good. Maybe you had to work extra hours at the office. Maybe your kid kept you up late at night and uh, you feel sluggish. So you just don't go as hard. You go by feel. You say, okay, this feels like a 85% effort. I'm going to put in this effort today. And it's a heck of a lot better than going to the track and facing reality with some brutal 800 meter splits or you know 1,000 meter splits. So. Uh, when you get into more formalized types of fartlek, of course, you could do it on the track, and that would be uh, maybe not in the the same uh, essence of a of a true play workout, speed play. But if you like a track, like if you're doing 400 meter repeats set 5k pace, you could follow that directly by a 200 meter float recovery, uh, a float jog. So maybe you're doing 400 meters in 90 seconds, you're doing a float jog in about maybe a minute. Uh, so. Overall, you're not stopping throughout the whole workout. You do a whole 5K on the track, and you're going fast for 400 meters and jogging for 200. It's the same kind of concept. Uh, that would be a lot more structured, obviously, with uh, doing it on a track with measured increments but and taking taking splits. But the stimulus is the same because it's this continuous workout where you're not stopping and hunching over and uh, and catching your breath. You're just uh, you're doing this this acceleration stop go but it's continuous movement. And that's the beauty of the fart. Like you do it out in beautiful places like this on a trail, up and down hills, catch your breath, maybe not even wear your watch, not even look at your watch, just look at landmarks. And overall, it's a good lactate threshold stimulus. It could be done at the end of long runs. Uh, so that's kind of my rant on fart licks. And uh, again, it's a great way to get into more formalized interval training and to work on your speed development and running economy, which I will state again and again, is very important for your overall development as a distance runner, whether you're training for the mile or you're training for 100 miles. Uh, I think it's it's a great way to, to train and a, a fun way to implement some more, uh, less pressure workouts into your overall schedule. And again, we have Sage Running plans on uh, sagerunning.com. I'll link to uh, my video on long run training. I'll link to up up here on doing long runs, three different types of long runs you could do, as well as the lactate threshold slash tempo run workout or training talk video. I'll link to that right there. Uh, please subscribe. I have a collection of training talk videos on this channel. You could explore on the playlist, uh, the training talk playlist, as well as under training advice. Uh, thanks again for all the support and all the views. Feel free to comment below with a future training talk topic that you'd like to see in the future and give it a thumbs up because the ones that get a lot of thumbs up will catch my attention and may be featured. Uh, thanks again for all the support. Again, I couldn't do this without you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more VO2Max Productions. Look at my little friend.